Hello and welcome back to Lorefet Gaming Plays Bars Gate 3. I'm your host Lorefet. In this Bars Gate 3 PC walkthrough slash let's play slash playthrough video, we're go ahead and day three with a party with the Tieflings, and we're get through Shadow Hearts Romance Stage One. As always, like, comment, and subscribe my channel for more Dungeon Dragon video games that are builds, guides, and walkthroughs just like this. In the last video. I explored one more area before ending the day. You know what? Let's go to our camp now and talk to everybody there. Don't let that place cast a shadow. <laughs> Toddlers are easier to please than you lot. Have to keep going. Everyone seems to be in high spirits. Strange. You know who I never thought I'd find myself caring for? Your words, not mine. But not what I mean. I mean, desperate people. Like those refugees. Never gave them much thought. Certainly not that bunch in the grove. Yet we came through for them. We saved their lives. Odd. That's more easily said by some than others. But nobody's here to debate right from wrong. Share a bottle with me? We should wait a little while. Until the others have drifted off. Best not keep me waiting. I'd prefer not to entertain myself. Would you look at this place? All these people, happy because of us. It's nice to be somewhere where good is still possible. Speaking of, from where I'm standing, it looks like you and Shadowheart are getting more familiar. She's a funny one, all pointy and secretive, but it seems like there's someone very sweet beneath it all, you know? Good to see the two of you getting along anyway. At least one of us is getting a little action. Fuck yes! I'm celebrating my freedom, and our friendship, and these folks' bright future besides. All I need now is a fire-retardant lover to get lost in till sunrise. Not so much. You spend the whole time avoiding swords and schemes. Plus, people just get nastier as the night wears on. I tried to make friends at first. Learned my lesson fast. Better to keep to yourself in hell. You too, soldier. Enjoy yourself tonight. You've earned it. Go bother someone else then. I need a quick word. Think of it. No more caves. No more tents. No more running away. We'll be in a city with roads and markets and homes. Look at them all. Guzzling poison like we've the right to be happy. it'll make the evening more tolerable.
Not this one. Nor this one. And this one less worthy still. Writing the balance. Beyond mortal realms, there doth exist an amalgamation of spirits akin to thine own, ensnared by the treacherous cult of the Absolute, felled in its name. They bear great discontentment with their destiny. For a mere pittance of coin, I might summon the worthiest among them to lend aid to thy undertaking. Most willingly, forsooth, their passions doth run deep for what hath been wrought upon them. Suspicion always haunts the guilty mind. My services are all that I can proffer thee. What thou wilt do with them is for thee to undertake. If you do need party members, go to Withers for that. It'll cost you, though. I like these people. They're joyful. It's contagious. Patience? Have you no respect for showmanship? Having performance issues, Roland. Hush you, and behold! Adoring applause? You're too kind. Remember when he could barely cast that? They grow up so fast. Never have I met such troglodytes. Now, pass the wine. Are Roland and Leah actually getting along? I know you cut down a horde of goblins, but this is far more impressive. Look at them. How happy they are. We did that. Yeah. Don't tell Roland. His magic show might be the highlight. He's been doing them since we were little. He'll make it big in Baldur's Gate. I know it. I need to dance! No. No, I need to lie down. Sherry! That's infernal for cheers. Or possibly turnip. Thank you. There's that confidence I like. I thank you for seeking me out. Amid all this merriment, I wasn't sure we'd have a chance to speak this evening. I was hoping you'd spare me a moment. There was something rather magical I wished to show you. More's the pity you've already found someone else to make merry with. Just the two of you. There's something unspeakable about Shallow Heart. But I mean that in a good way. She seems to me like a bud on the cusp of bursting into a rose. That, or deadly nightshade. Far be it from me, of course, to question your tastes. caught on to that, did you? Might be the wine talking. The point is, I have hope. Each new sunrise may yet be the one to coax our budding bond to blossom. But I think it's fair to say, it won't be today's. Now please, go and enjoy your evening. This won't be the first party I've spent moping in self-indulgence with a bottle of wine for company. Just a moment, maybe. Ah, my 
good fellow. Quite the cosy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. I was just settling in and reviewing my latest findings. Mind flares, cultists, and, of course, your esteemed company. <laughs> Why, I'm practically an expert. They've tentacles, you know. Quite shocking. The druid Halson had some kind of mind flare specimen in a jar in his quarters. A replica, no doubt, but truly fascinating to see up close. Here, on the Sword Coast. Impossible. That, that can't be. You're mad. But. Tell me, have you noticed any residual psionic malaise since the alleged encounter? That's quite impossible. You'd have undergone ceramorphosis by now. I can't attest to the specifics, but I do know that not long after insertion, the host, that's you, turns into a mind flayer. As there's not a tentacle on your head, I can only assume you haven't been infected. If what you say were true, you'd be a mind flayer by now. You? Infected by a mind flayer? Oh, ridiculous. Isn't it? Still, there'd be no harm in me taking a teensy look with that. I know all the signs. If I just peer in your eye, I could quickly... Oh, dear sweet God! As you wish, my friend. When the transformation occurs, I can only hope you are far away from me. Waste a night like this talking to me. We'll discuss your problem tomorrow. Go on, enjoy yourself. Seek out some wine before it runs dry. There are a lot of thirsty people around here. You have no idea how good it feels to see these people smiling. The singing we could probably do without. But even so, thank you. You came through for us. That's a change from most adults I know. I'm not. I'm glad they can celebrate before we've even got to the gate. Just like I'll be glad to be rid of them once we're there. This might be the wine talking, but I'm feeling inspired. Thinking of writing my next song about you. But I need an angle. Any ideas? After Elturel, I think you're right. Faerun deserves to see us as we really are. I have seen the Kithraki tear a screaming Neogi's legs from its belly to fashion into blades. 
Yet, they could not match your nerve today. It was enough to drive me to madness. I smell their blood on you still. I smell your moisture. How torturous for us both that I'll never get a taste. Oh, but do enjoy yourself this night. I intend to myself. A Starian looks particularly tempting. Hope you're enjoying the night, hero. I certainly am. Cheers to many more like this. You know, I never pictured myself as a hero. Never thought I'd be the one they'd toast for saving so many lives. And... Now that I'm here... I hate it. This is awful. True. That was fun. Still, I would have liked more for my trouble than a pat on the head and vinegar for wine. It's a heavy, rich red. Dry and sharp. See what I mean? Awful. All I want is a little fun. Is that so much to ask? Oh, what the hell's... Sex. Passion. Fun. It's easy for some. You and Shadowheart seem to have a connection. It looks very sweet. Not what I call passionate or interesting, but sweet. I'm sure it'll be adequate. But you go ahead. Have fun. I was hoping you wouldn't notice I was gone. No. I'm deeply proud of you. A touch less so of myself. In truth, I don't feel in a festive mood. And I didn't want to cast a grey cloud over the night. I'm a devil. I love the people from the grove, but... I unsettle them deep down. As I seem to unsettle everyone nowadays. You don't want a devil at your party. Claws will pop the balloons, you see. And the sweet cakes don't taste half as good as raw eggs with this blasted forked tongue. I'll be fine. Seeing you has cheered me more than you can know. But. Off with you. This is your day. Have a dance. Enjoy the music. Don't forget our little agreement. As soon as things quiet down here...
Before I'm able to go to sleep and start romancing Shallow Heart in stage one of that. So here's the deal. This is a little bit buggy at times. If you get stuck like that, best way to uh, definitely do, is, well, besides switch your character temporarily, is to uh, go ahead and uh, save your game, then reload it. It'll fix it right up. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I'm back, so uh, what happened was is I saved the game, reloaded it, and it fixed it right itself up. That is good. So, you ever run into that problem, just do what I uh, did. So, uh, here's the deal. Follow's in our uh, camp, so you'll be able to sell things in the next day. You have to use the trade option. I think also the other one, too. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and now end the day, so there'll be a night scene with me and Shadowheart. Where's a great thing? So, I'm going to go ahead and pick some camping supplies. I might just go random. Already did the liquor. That was for the ending of day three. Just trust me. You get a nice steam achievement out of it later on. A PlayStation 5 trophy or Xbox Series achievement. So let's do this right now. You made it. Come here. Sit with me. So eager. I'm surprised it took you this long. Well, to begin, I think a toast is in order. Any suggestions? Bold. What does us entail? I suppose I'll find out. To us. Now tell me something about yourself. I know tadpoles, dragons, marauding goblins, or anything like that. Something about you. Seems like you truly know the city. I never got to explore it to my liking. Don't stop now. Not just as things are getting interesting. laugh, but I'm not quite sure I have anything to share. When you worship Shard, secrecy is everything. We'll sacrifice our own memories when ordered to. A lot of the little things... they're lost to me right now. Perhaps. But please, enough about me. Sharing's bad for my complexion. There's still plenty of wine. And the whole night is ahead of us. Nearly light. The others will be awake soon. What? I know, but you're sweet to notice. Thank you for last night. Me too. She trails off. You read an invitation in her eyes. That didn't hurt, did it? Good to know. For the future. Let's head back. If we must. Oh. I trust you enjoyed your evening. After all your efforts, it was well deserved. It may be some time before you're afforded another such night. 
There is much to be done. And I promised I would help you however I could. I'm certain a cure for you can be found at Moonrise Towers, but it's complicated. The journey specifically, it's extremely perilous. Though it seems you're well accustomed to navigating danger. I suppose it was too much to hope we were going to be cured here and now. To Moonrise, then. To get to the towers, you'll need to pass through a terrible place. A cursed place. This curse shrouds everything in shadow. You will not find life, light, or anything natural there. Any who linger are twisted by the curse. They become shadow beings, tormented, dangerous souls. You're half right. You have to get to Moonrise, but you still have a choice of how to get there. You could go overland, along the Risen Road or through the mountains. Easier at first, but you'll run into the Shadow Curse eventually. You could also go under. There is a tunnel somewhere in the ruined Temple of Saluna. It leads to Moonrise Towers through the Underdark. Long ago, a man called Ketherick Thorm built a secret stronghold deep down there, before rallying a whole army of Dark Justicias, Shah worshippers. Dark Justicias? I must see for myself. Aridan and his lot were looking for a way down there. They were promised riches if they retrieved a relic called the Night Song. But I think there's more. From this stronghold, Ketherick's forces could access both the Temple of Saluna and Moonrise Towers. But he was defeated before he could launch an attack. If you can find this place, I'll wager it will reveal a more direct path to Moonrise Towers. And maybe even bypass the worst of the Shadow Curse. Already? <laughs> if only I'd gone with you instead of Aradin. I would like to join your camp, if you'll allow me. I can offer my skills, my counsel. I've long sought to return to Moonrise Towers. It seems our fates have aligned. I've chosen a successor as first druid, Francesca of the High Forest. A bird's already been dispatched to summon her. Precisely. Who indeed? You do not know, and neither do any of the others. The Grove needs to move beyond the mistakes of the past. What it needs is an unknown quantity. An outsider who can enforce the Oak Father's teachings without bias. This is why I chose Francesca. She will restore simplicity and purity to the Grove in my absence. Indeed. We quite the journey ahead of us. I have something to ask. So, hey, we've got this soul coin, right? Thing is, I think I can use it. My engine can, anyway. Zariel used to top me up every now and again when she wanted me to go after an especially wicked target. Nah, it'll be fine. Sort of. Next time we find ourselves toe to toe with something we want to squash, drop a coin in. See what happens. Fuck yes. Now I just need something to sink my teeth into. Copper for your thoughts. Guy named Gortash. Politician. Inventor. One of these wheeler dealer types who seems to have a finger in every pie. I guess I was naive to think everything he got up to was above board. What did I know? I saw a job. A good job. With people I liked. Doing work I was good at. Sometimes I'm jealous of that girl. Oh, to feel so invincible again. Let's hope Damon is as good as he seems. 
Once my engine's handled, I can focus on more important matters. Tadpoles, cults, frosty pints. Very well. Now, that was a great and very lovely evening. I forgot to, of course, drink my talk to Ammo's potions. I'm going to have to make a few more of that. I am very happy in my results, so let's go ahead and do this. There you go. And I'm going to say the camp was fun. I didn't talk much because I felt like it was a great event. I didn't want to disturb most of it. As for Withers, I'm going to go ahead and recap this once again real quick. So if those of you who mess up with your companion's approval ring, they leaving your party, well, guess what? You got your hirelings to take care of that. They have no approval rings at all. Seriously. It costs you gold though. That's the bad news. Good news is you get to control seriously how they level up. So I'm going to go ahead and talk to everybody else including Sh uh, Shadowheart. And yeah, we'll start with the uh, guy from Neverwinter Nights 2 and the other uh, games, Volo. Yeah, he's in our camp. That's just great. Ah, my good fellow. Quite the cozy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. All's well, I hope. No. I just wanted to see how you felt. After the night we spent together, when we talked and kissed. I hope so too. Though I'm not sure what kind of courtship we'll be afforded, given all that we're facing. But if you want to see where this goes, I do as well. Wouldn't you be in my place? If there's even the slightest chance that Shah worshippers remain within our reach, we should try and find them. Even if they're all long gone, and that seems quite likely from what we know, who knows what they may have left behind for us to use? My people are nothing if not resourceful. As long as I've prayed to Lady Shah, I've wished to serve her as a dark justicia. There is scarcely a greater way to fully dedicate yourself to Lady Shah, save perhaps if you become the head of her church. To become a Dark Justicia is to become the Night Singer's sword arm, her implement with which she will cast down the unbelievers and win the final battle to restore her perfect, endless darkness. It's all I ever wanted. I prayed it was my calling. But Mother... Forbid me from seeking to prove myself worthy of the rank. She said I was not ready. Not my mother mother, I should add. The mother superior, head of Lady Shah's enclave in Baldur's Gate. Sometimes I wonder if she would ever deem me ready. I owe her everything, and I only wish to serve, yet she can prove... Inscrutable. I don't know. Perhaps if I succeed in my mission and reach Baldur's Gate... Hope has little place amongst Lady Shah's children. It's an illusion. A distraction. For this, I hope my time will yet come. 
Very serious of you, but go ahead. Always good when I'm with you. Fine. What's on your mind? I suppose some would commend our actions. Goblins would have raised that whole place to nothing if it weren't for us. No excuse to rest on our laurels, though. We've still got our own problems to contend with. My favorite traveling companion. Speak. So I did, and he served his use. Most enthusiastically, I might add. I may even avail myself of his talents again. Should he keep his fangs off my flesh? Well met. What's on your mind? Carsus was perhaps the most powerful wizard that ever lived. The child who would be a god, the elves called him. And he tried. With a spell of his own devising, he endeavored to usurp in one fell swoop the power of the goddess of magic. Mistril, she was called then. Imagine what it must have felt like to be a god. To know yourself, to be untouchable. To be mistaken, as Carsus aimed his spell at her, she began to unravel, and with her, the entire weave. Too late did he realize what he had unleashed. It would have been the end of everything had not Mistral sacrificed herself. The goddess of magic is all magic. By dying, the entire weave was lost, and the spell that challenged a god failed. It was the end of Mistral, the end of Carsus, and the end of an entire civilization. As the child who would be a god was turned to stone, his empire came crashing down around him. The floating cities of Netheril were no more, an event that came to be known as Carsus's folly. For a spell, Mistral was reborn as Mistra. Upon her return, the weave returned with her. Now, so many centuries later, I try to follow in the footsteps of Carsus. Not to destroy Mistra, but to prove my love for her. I tried to control only a fraction of the magic that was unleashed that fateful day. I merely sought to return one tiny diamond to an imperfect crown. Gale's folly, one might call it. History. Repetition. It's the way things go. If it should ever come to that, if I ever know I am no longer able to stop it, I will do anything I can to ensure no one but me pays for my mistakes. I will find the remotest place on the surface of Faerun, or perhaps far below in the depths of the Underdark. I will await that death alone. I promise I will not betray your trust. You kept me by your side despite the menace that I am. If worse comes to worst, I will be long gone before the curtain falls. Everything's all set and ready to go. Oh, by the way, uh, next video, I'm respecting Asteron, yeah, or a uh, rogue. Yeah, I'm going to change him from an arcane trickster into an uh, actual uh, thief. I felt like he's better that way. So, let's leave the camp and definitely start day five. Day four was fun. Day five, we're going to start and things are going to get better. And we have arrived, so it's time for a nice recap. First thing I did was I went to the party, locked in my romance stage one for Shadowheart. After that, talked to everybody else, including companions, tieflings, 
Volo, even uh, Ammo or uh, so, even Withers too. And by the way, Withers, you get to make a Highlings now. After uh, that, I spent a night with Shadowheart, very romantic. Once that was done, I started day five, talked to more uh, people, learned about Gale's condition, which was getting worse. In the next Baldur's Gate 3 walkthrough video, we're going to go ahead and start on the under, I should say the Underdark Path. That's part one of that only. This is it for my Baldur's Gate 3, PC walkthrough, Tiefling Party, Shadow Heart Romance 1, and Day 4 Ends video. This is Lord Fett signing off. Thanks for watching, and have a great day tonight, and do please stay safe. Please subscribe to my channel for more classic and modern Dungeons and Dragons walkthroughs, builds, guides, and more just like this. If you like what you see, then uh, go ahead and pick my suggestion on the upper left-hand corner, or YouTube suggestion on the bottom left-hand corner. I'm going to go ahead and relax in this nice chair.